Hi, this is David Lee from CMC Partnership here in Asia, coming to you from sunny Singapore. And I'd like to talk to you today about how you, as a change practitioner, can better engage your sponsor in change. When it comes to change, we know that sponsorship is the number one success factor from all the research that ProSci has done over 20 years and from other sources as well. So it really is difficult when your sponsor is not engaged. And so how do you make your sponsor engaged? How do you get them to be engaged? Well, that's a real challenge, especially in different types of cultures where there's a healthy respect for the hierarchy. And we need to think about ways that we can do this without necessarily challenging our sponsor's sensibilities along the way. So I'm gonna do a series of videos on this topic with a few tips in each video. The first tip is actually something you do before you actually take the engagement of being a trained practitioner, and that is to ask some key questions. First of all, am I gonna have access to the sponsor? How often am I gonna have access to the sponsor? What is the form that that access is going to take? How committed to the change is my leader? Are they actually um, in favor of this change, or is this something that has been put upon them? What's the leader's history of leading change? Have they done a good job of it in the past? Have they been successful? Have they learned from their mistakes? What's the leader's approach and style? Is it conducive for the change that we're doing? Is it uh, distributive if it's a complex change? Is it someone who is willing to allocate authority where they need to, but at the same time be accountable for the change? These are good questions to ask yourself before you actually get involved with the project so you know what you're facing. Second tip is to understand that your sponsor is human and they have their own context for what is going on with this change and why they're involved with it. If you can ask them questions, get to know them, understand what it is that it's influencing them, what are the challenges they're facing, how do they feel about the risks that's associated with the change, then you can relate them better and help them along. The next tip is to understand that your leader may not know exactly what they're doing doesn't make them a bad leader, mean, mean that they're not educated in what is good practice for change management. A lot of times we've been put into a leadership position because we were good at doing the line work and we may not have received the training we needed to do these type of activities. I can tell you from my experience, the first time I became a sponsor of change, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. And if somebody had told me that there was a practice out there of change management, I would have benefited greatly from it, but I didn't and I did everything by the seat of my pants. And luckily it worked out, but that doesn't mean that it always works out. So this goes along with one other tip that I'll give you today, which is to not underestimate your value as a change pract practitioner, the person who's coming to the table with a framework, a set of tools, assessments, et cetera, to help the change along. If somebody had walked in and told me that they were there to help me and they were bringing all these things along with them, I would have embraced them with open arms. So don't underestimate your value. You're coming, to the, you're coming in with things that your leader needs and you just need to let them know that you're there to help them. Another tip is to listen to them. Understand what is their focus. If they're a person who is talking a lot about risk and risk mitigation, present what you have to present about change management in the format. Try and relate to them. Try and reflect what their concerns are and how you're going to help them solve those things. So there's five tips that you can use to better engage your sponsor. We have more videos on this topic coming. Don't forget to leave comments or contact us if you have any questions. We're here to help you. Thank you.